time. Right, let's get the latest royal news now for our sins uh, with our royal correspondent, Rupert Bell. Good morning to you, Rupert. Morning, Julia. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Uh, well, uh, we've had uh, it's basically the ladies in the news once again. The proper royal, uh, Kate, uh, appearing uh, uh, at a, at a uh, hospital yesterday. But sorry, I keep saying a hospital, a prison yesterday, uh, but with an injured finger. Lots of excitement about that and new haircut. Um, but uh, the focus also on Meghan arriving finally at the Invictus Games, but apologising for being a little bit late. Yes, and saying it was all down to her family and that she was doing the school run and uh, and buying milkshakes from um, or whatever she was doing. Funny enough, she was photographed, wasn't she, going to a, a drive through So it seems to be linking what she was up to uh, doing the school run. I am sure if she needed to be there earlier, there is enough infrastructure within the Sussex's household to enable her to get there early. Um, so um, the reason she was late Yes. It was basically because it's Harry's show, and Harry to begin, and she turns up at the end. But as soon as she turns up, she takes over. She takes the news. What you saw. But that's the interesting thing. There's always that. I've always thought that about, say, when people are friends with the royals, and you know, do you really want, for instance, you know, Meghan or Kate or anyone like that turning up at your wedding? Because you know, when you're the bride, it's all about you, yeah. and that lady over there is going to get all the pictures, and that's going to be rather annoying. I'm um, all the fuss, uh, a fuss about her. But I mean, but this is the thing. I I do find it a bit objectionable for anybody to turn up who's just got their transatlantic flight. Mm -hmm get all that you know their multi-million pound mansion and all their childcare help because i'm sure she does do the school run but has a lot of help with it uh, to say oh i'm sorry i'm late because i was buying milkshakes on the school run a why are you mm. buying milkshakes on the way to school uh, what sort of bad parenting is that and b frankly um you're talking to people who are f competing in competition after being injured after serving their countries in war i mean read the room lady read the room indeed and also she talks about family well, if the room, she's one, talks about uniting a family. Well, <laughs> currently, she's involved in the most disunited families on both sides. So that is the problem for uh, Meghan. What, she's damned if she does, damned if she doesn't. But she also needs to be more aware of the situation. And once again, she's taken over. With, to the detriment, I think, of the Invictus Games. And now, once again, we're seeing the in the newspapers, it's playing out as it always does. It's sort of a Meghan uh, v Kate sort of thing. I mean, the you know the son have actually got that you know quite blatantly. I mean, the deification of Kate, who does all credit to her, does the job well. She you know she she turns up every day. She she keeps her mouth shut. She knows the deal of being a royal wife, which Meghan clearly didn't sign up to. Um, but but I, I I can't help feeling that this is going to end in a fall at some point. Yeah, yes, and this is, I think, the problem. Everything at the moment, Kate touches, turns to gold. But this, she mustn't be in danger of being overhyped because mm -hmm. you're pretty sure someone will go after her. And, and that's going to be a sad aspect. But wait till New York next week when Prince William goes there because you can bet your bottom dollar Harry and Meghan will be looking to counteract what he does in New York. It's all just so tacky, isn't it, these people? They really are. Anyway, what can you do? Thank you so much. Always good to join you there, uh, Rupert Bell.